HCF of 36, 45 and 48. To find the HCF, for that we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is 36, 45, 48. This is your step 1. Next. In this number, last digit 6, E1, so take 2. First number 3. A number close to 3 in 2 table is 2, 1, 2. 3 minus 2, 1, 1 carried forward 16. When do we get 16 in 2 table? 2, 8, 16. Now 18 is 2, 9, 18. 9 is 3, 3, 9. Now 3, 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1, 3. Now the other number, 45. Last digit 5, so take 5. When do we get 45 in 5 table? 5, 9 is 45. Now 9 is 3, 3 is 9. Now 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Now the other number, last digit 8, E1, so take 2. First number 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. The other number 8, when do we get 8 in 2 table? 2, 4 is 8. Now last digit 4, E1, so take 2. First number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2, 1 is 2. The other number 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. Now 12 is 2, 6, 12. 6 is 2, 3, 6. Now 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Therefore, our HCF is HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places. That is here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places. So now let us find the numbers which should be present here and here and also here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need for us to check in the other place. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need for us to check in the other place. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So go to the next place. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. Go to the next place. Do we have 3 here? No. 3 we don't have in all the 3 places. So we cannot write here. So no more numbers have been left out. So only one number 3 is present in all the three places. So this is our HCF.